I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you one of the most interesting questions on linear functions. This particular question is good for any high school student from grade 9 to 12. The question is consider a linear function y equals to 1 minus x over 2. Find the change in y value if x increases by 4. So that is your question. You can pause the video, think about it and then answer. Now, let's read the question once again. It says, consider a linear function y equals to 1 minus x over 2. Let me rewrite this equation in standard form, not the standard, I mean slope and intercept form. So it is y equals to, when I divide by 2, I get half minus x over 2. And normally we write it as y equals to mx plus b, which is minus x by 2 plus half. Right? That is how normally we write a linear equation. So I will read it in this equation here. Now the question is, find the change in y value if x increases by 4. I hope the question is clear now. So the concept here is, we want change in value. So change in y means what? Try to understand that part. So we say, let change in y be delta y, right? So that is a change in y. And what we are given is, we are given change in x. That is, we are given that delta x is equal to 4. That is, it increases by 4 means plus 4. So we need to find change in y. Now I think that gives you an idea how to find it. So these steps help you to think in the right direction. Of course, now you know how to do it. You know what is slope, right? Slope is change in y divided by change in x, correct? So, so that is what slope is, change in x. Right? Or you can say m, normally you write this as, as m equals to delta y over delta x. Correct? So that is what it is. And since in this question you are given change in x, you are also given slope. What is the slope here? Let's write down the slope. So let me just divide this page into two parts. That is our thinking. Correct? So once we have rewritten the equation. It's very clear that we know the slope m is equals to minus half. It is coefficient of x, correct? We are comparing it with the equation of line, which is uh, y equals to mx plus b. We are writing it as y equals to mx plus b, right? So, you know, coefficient of x is the slope. So, minus half is the slope. Now we know slope is minus half and we also know change in x is 4. So we can find what change in y is. So let me derive the formula here itself. Change in y is equals to m times change in x. Correct. So utilizing this information, we can say that change in y is equals to m times, which is minus half times delta x, which is change in x, which is 4, right? So that is equal to minus 2. So that is the answer for us. We can write down our answer that change in y is equal to negative 2. That means it decreases by 2. So the answer is negative 2 or decreases by 2. Is that okay? Now, that is what it is. So some of you can also verify the answer, right? So uh, you can check solution. Okay, so you can consider change in x uh, by 4 by taking some value of x. Let us say we take x, let me take two values of x, x1 equals to, let's say 1 because that's going to give me 0, and x2 plus 4, right? That is changed, so it is 5. And let's calculate the value of y. So for x1, y will be equals to 1 minus 1 over 2, which is 0. And for x2, 
we are going to again divide this. If x2 is 5, then y is equals to 1 minus 5 over 2, and that is equals to minus 4 divided by 2, which is minus 2. So you see, change is from 0 to minus 2, so decreases by 2. So that confirms our answer that it decreases. Decreases means negative, or the change in y is minus 2. I hope this concept is absolutely clear. It really helps to understand this concept even for the students who are going to take calculus, right? So, so try to get through this and I hope you appreciate. Thanks for your time.